Jeff Oh my god, are they starting already? I think they're starting. I'm back from the Greek from seeing Jethro Tall. Sorry I didn't Snapchat or do anything, but there's no Wi-Fi there. But something amazing happened. I'll do a video about it. It's too much right now. I'm home. I just had some food. And I think I'm going to go to bed. But I had an amazing time. Jethro Tall was an amazing show. And I had an angel. In fact, the whole night... There's this, I'm just going to have to do a video on it. Stay tuned. Today I went for a beach jog, hung out on the beach with some girlfriends, and now I'm going to a punk rock show. And yes, I'm covering up my neck because I have a turkey neck. You know why? Because I love the beach and love the sand town. Yep, they warned me. If you go out in the sun, you're going to get sun damage. And yes, people comment all the time. How my neck has so many wrinkles. And yes, I do have wrinkles on my neck. Because I'm an idiot that goes in the sun without sunscreen. So let it be a warning to you. I didn't listen to it. But to tell you the truth, I don't think I would have done anything different. I probably wouldn't have put sunscreen. I still don't put sunscreen on. Because now, it doesn't matter, right? I have a turkey neck. So now, the bandana is my new favorite friend. And there it is. Lots of happy puppies here at Rosie's Dog Beach. But there's another one. Happy puppy. Happy puppy. Dogs just know that this beach is for them. They're just so happy to get there. They're like, yes, mom and dad, yay. Take me to Dog Beach. changes which I like Alfredo's still the same very cool this place back here Alfredo's I know Fred, he used to own this, so I'm glad um, it's still going strong. It's a little tiki place here in the shore. There's the kayaks right there, and there's a little tiki hut. They got places to sit and eat, like right on the sand. And I was worried when he died that they wouldn't keep it going, but I'm happy to see it's going. You like my front yard? I do too. Look, this, I want to do stand up paddle boards right there. I've never done it. Don't think I can. I think I'm going to go lay out after this jog. Happy Sunday, everybody.
I just saved a little mouse. I was taking out the trash and it was stuck to a glue trap. Poor little thing. So I freed it and it scurried off. But it still had glue on his hands. So I hope he's okay. Poor little mouse. I threw that glue trap away. In case you couldn't understand that last snap, I was taking out the trash and a little mouse was stuck to a glue trap. It was so sad. It was yelping. It was like, <laughs> so I didn't have any oil or anything to, to release it, but I did have a cardboard, a uh, piece of cardboard. So I tried it gently as I could release him from the glue trap. He ran away. He still had glue on his hands. So I, I, I hope he gets it off somehow. Poor thing. I hope. What do you think? Do you think he's going to be okay? He has, he still has glue on his hands and he was screaming in pain because some of the, I'm sure some of his fur came off when he, when I freed him. Poor thing. I threw that glue trap away. Poor thing. Yeah, this ain't good. Don't get this. It tastes like it's old, like it's been sitting on the shelf forever. It's nasty. Nasty. It kind of amuses me when I see people make comments um, that I am prolonging the divorce, that I'm dragging it on, when it's so easy to prove that I'm not. He files things on me, and I have to respond. And it gets pushed back and pushed back on his end, not me. And that is easily proven since I'm going to court and it's going to be court records. So I'm sure if anyone wants to prove who's doing what, it's easily to be proved. There's no more he says, she says anymore. Everything is documented on paper in the court. And I think the public can see that. So call me a liar all you want, but there's proof now. It's time, it's 
Oh, 